Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bringing you another time video this week, and uh, this week it's one of one that a local guy showed me. Jay, one of the guys that comes into the shop and fishes a lot of the streams I do, he showed me this while we were out fishing and I ran into him on the stream, and uh, he has a unique way of fishing. He fishes, he fishes a nymph system, but he fishes a lot of nymphs, like four or five nymphs. We're allowed to do that here in Pennsylvania. And this is always towards the top. It's fished as an emerger, and that's the way I've actually been fishing it. I've been fishing it on, on my wet fly rig as an emerger on there and catching fish that way with it. I actually even dry dropped it and have caught fish that way too. So it's, it works as an emerger. You want it, if you're fishing it on your nymph rig, you want it near the top. But I didn't know what Jay called it, so I'm just going to call it Jay's Pink Midge. And uh, it's been working for me, and I'm sure it'll work for you too. So here you're going to see a picture of it, then the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see Jay's little pink emerger in the vise. You can see this very small, very tiny, size 20. For video quality, I'm going to tie it in a size 16, but tie this in a size 20. Very small fly. So, it's a 633 size 20 hook, but like I said, bigger here for quality sake. And for thread, this is the first thing we're going to put it on it, is some shell pink and 70 denier. So I'm just going to start it on there and I'm going to wrap it back to the bend of the hook. Next thing I'm going to add, this is some sculpin olive or brown, either one. Um, small size ultra wire. And I like to wrap it on on the side towards me, but wrap it on the top side, whatever you prefer. Then I'm just going to cover up that thread, or cover up the hook shank until I get it not thick, but covered in the cal that uh, shell pink color showing through. So, like you see it there. And I want to stop about an eye length behind the eye. Next thing we're going to do is just bring this rib forward. I'm going to get about three, four wraps on a size 20. Maybe a couple more on this 16 here, but remember we're tying it smaller. So nice even wraps, and then I'm just going to tie it off. Now next thing we're going to use is some Scud Dub pink, and I'm going to go very sparse with this. We're just going to put a little collar on here. So make a tight little noodle, not much at all. Just want to build a little hump here. Just get a little hump there to help stand our crystal flash, which is going to be our hackle. So for hackle, I'm using, uh, this is the shrimp pink crystal flash. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it out over the front. I'm going to get about six or six or seven fibers of it there. Stick it out over the eye of the hook and tie it forward like that. About an inch or so, whatever you feel comfortable with. Then we're going to take and we're going to, I tend to tie it on the side closest to me, kind of pointing across the hook, and then I'll bring it across the other side. So I get a little bit on each side of the hook. And then I'm just going to wrap that back, make a nice little head here with my shell pink. Keep it small, don't overdo it. Whip finish it off. And then I like to hit just a little bit of head cement or UV glue in my case. Just enough to lock that in place and protect that small, small 70 denier thread. Then I'm going to take, pinch all this together. And I'm going to stick my feathers about three quarters of the way back that body. Maybe the whole length, but at least three quarters. Trim that off and then I like to pull them down around the side. Now you'll see 
There's not really any underneath. That's fine. It makes a nice little crystal flash wing on top. But it gives lots of, you know, for a small fly, it's going to get some reflection. Catch the fish's eye. Uh, simple fly, and it catches fish. Okay, guys, I hope you like that fly. I, I really like it. I've been catching fish on it. I'm not really sure what it imitates in my area. I think it's imitating the black fly larva, which is a white color in my area, but it's very close when you, this light pink to a white. So I think that's why we're having a lot of success with it because it's close to the black fly larva. Other than that, I really don't have a guess why it works, but it does. And it's flashy too. You know, that's something that I like to fish is fl flashy flies, but I'm fishing this, like I said, on my nymph rig and on my wet fly setup. If it's on my nymph rig, it's up was one of my droppers and it's up high on there. So it's towards the top of the water column and acting like an emerger. So have fun, experiment, mess around. And I'll also say tie this in different colors too. For instance, uh, since you're tying it so small, tie it with olive and an olive crystal flash wing. You know, have a little blue winged olive emerger made out of it that would be a great pattern too. experiment and have fun like jay did and uh, it's a great pattern and it catches us a lot of fish so have fun tying guys you need any of the materials like always you can find it at holsingersflyshop.com and uh, until next week when i bring you another video i'm sean holsinger